Does that look like a frost last to you? Because that's not a frost last. Did she not lead with a frost last? Well, no, it is, but like, it's a, uh, what's it? Dusk, um, what's the final stage? Dusk Noir? Is that its final stage, Dusk Noir? So the icon on the site that I'm looking at, like, is a Dusk Noir instead. But it says frost last, but it's totally not a frost last. Are sword and shield different? No, 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 no. Also, I just lost another Pokemon. What did you lose now, Salty? Calm down. Boys, girls, guys, squirrels, what is going on? My name is Slightly Salty, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Sword and Shield Hardcore Surprise Lock Cage Lock. I'm here with Rival Roki. Introduce yourself, man. What is going on, guys? Rival Roki here, and welcome back. Glad to see you guys here. Hope you guys have been enjoying this series so far. Um, I have been. Have you? I have been. I have been. It's been some ups and downs. That's for sure. It's been a heck of a heck of a roller coaster. That's for sure. Um, but I, I, it's been fun. Honestly, I've had a lot of fun with it. In my very first cage lock, it's been a good time. Honestly, it's been a good time. It's been a lot of fun. But yes, it's important that we're having fun. But we also want to know. Are you guys having fun? Are you guys enjoying watching the content? Let us know in the comment section down below what you guys thought of the series, what you guys think we could have done better, and also, what do you want to see us work together again? And if we do, what do you want to see us do? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, we're getting to the end of the series, so at this point, it's kind of just like, you know, what, what like, what's going to be next, you know? What are we going to do next, and what do you guys want to see, honestly? Yeah. Because we got some um, ideas. We got some ideas. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we definitely have some ideas. That's for sure. We've got some good ideas. Definitely some good series up on the horizon. So make sure you guys are subscribed to both of us. Because it, it's going to get crazy. For sure, for sure, for sure. Uh, right. I cannot find this guy. He's um at the back right. There's a wall there. There's a house there. An apartment he's there okay i see him i see him now yeah like i've been just spamming through this honestly so like i cannot for the life of me oh we have to battle him right here that's right um yep. do you battle yep. him every time like he just has yep. one pokemon but you just keep battling him every time and then when we go to rose tower we have that's to battle so everybody in the elevator but i don't know if the rose tower is just yet uh i think we do rose tower after this so it's gonna it's gonna get pretty hectic really quick <laughs> Honestly, we're going to have a lot of battles here before we get to the next one. It's definitely really, like, end-loaded end of a game, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. Definitely like, for sure, so... for sure. And that's, like, one thing that I'm heavily afraid of when it comes to, um... When it comes to open-world Scarlet and Violet. Yes, I've been waiting for this. I really want this. But I'm really afraid that it's just going to be really, like... The story is going to be really beginning oriented and really end oriented because it's a free roam story. Well, it's um, a yeah. open world. Yeah, that's definitely something I'm wondering too. Because supposedly, like, you can take on the gyms in any order in this, which is is really cool, honestly. Because that means that you're going to see like different teams and different like, like think about that. Like, there's going to be different teams for every like tier of gym battle and stuff, um, or at yeah. least somewhat. Like, I don't know how they. Maybe it's the same team and the levels just scale differently and, like, evolutions. I don't know. Um, but it's just exciting to think about that, like, you know, uh, like, I'm still curious how it's going to work. I feel like even though it is open world and you can technically do it in any way, I feel like they're going to somehow still kind of have somewhat of an order to it. Yeah, like, you're somewhat guided still to where you're not just kind of, like, running around with, like, a chicken with your head cut off trying to figure out, like, where what to go and what to do next. Um, but that's just my opinion, honestly. Yeah. So yeah, as you guys can see, we added this to the team. It's just going to be a temporary member uh, while we're doing like all of this stuff because it's just going to help us out a lot during like the next couple episodes. Um, and then we'll switch it out, obviously, once we get you know a little bit further. Uh, but yeah, time to find this guy again. Salty remembers where they're all at, and I don't, so I'm kind of just like going through. Go down left around the circle. He's standing there talking to the happy couple. He's standing there talking to the happy couple? Yeah. Oh, okay. I see him. I thought I talked to this guy. Did I not? Oh, no. I guess uh, I didn't. It changes in order. And then after that, immediately go to the left and he's standing in a phone booth. Yeah, that one I did know about. I checked that every single time and it hasn't been there. Yo, Mawile's terrifying. Mawile is pretty terrifying. 
Like, Steel Fairy is just such a really good typing. I did kill it with a flame charge, though. All right, well, I'm going to see if I can kill it with a flame throw. All right, that does, like, no damage to us, so that's good. We should be able to one-shot this thing, too. If Salty can do it, we can do it. Yeah, we did it. Oh, we got a crit, too. Let's go. <laughs> also, my team's already almost at level 55 completely, so it is a little scary, the levels. Tis definitely, yeah. I'm at like 54 or something right now. Oh, that sucks. I'm going to get this boost. I'm not even going to be able to use it. Yep. Ooh, and I lowered my water. That might not have been the best play. Uh... Oh. I got a crit! I got... Marnie gave me an attack boost, yeah. and then I got a crit. Oh, let's go, baby. That's a good way to do a nice one shot. I'm on the Excadrill right now. Actually, this thing's kind of a threat. Oh, I'm on my way to Roast Tower. Oh, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Question is, do we one shot? How do we outspeed this thing? Isn't Excadrill like I'm. dummy fast? Ooh, Ooh, we don't one shot. Owie! Yep, I am indeed. Oh no, now I've got to do the. Now we've got the train station. Not gonna lie, this was a hard risk because if I didn't kill right there, I totally would have just lost this mon. And then I would have just probably FF'd. Alright, cool. So let's heal up a little bit and let's go and take on Phone Booth Stalker Guy. <laughs> I'm gonna go in high and I'm gonna keep running and make you fight my team of six, but I'm gonna make you fight them individually in teams of two. Haha! <laughs> Thanks, Game Freak. That's totally what we wanted to do. All right, let's go. He's just hiding there in the phone booth like we can't see him. Like he's standing right there. Yeah, and then Pierce makes you go to the train station. I think you got to battle more of them. Uh, Yeah, because we have to kind of like make our way up to, that's how we get to the Rose Tower. Like we have to make our way up to it and now then we can actually take the monorail and get to it. Yeah. I love, I'm, oh, I love actually, Ferret Seed. Like, it's just, like, halfway underground, just chilling there, like, blomp. I am like actually at Rose Tower now. No, oh, look at you, speedrunning the game. Actually, after you beat that guy, it's literally just all dialogue. And then you end yeah, up at Rose Tower. Yeah, it's just a bunch of stuff, and he ends up singing and stuff. Uh... Mm. Do I stay in here? I feel like a I feel like a rock throw probably kills. And I don't feel like I kill. Um Question is what do we do? What do you do? What would you do? Ooh. Oh, I can't, I can't. Dragon Breath? You what? Dragon Why does Steelix have Dragon, dragon Breath? Tail. It's all about the dragon. And I paralyzed me. Come on. Oh my god. More trainers. We still have, Yeah, we have a lot of trainer battles here. Dude, yeah, so. you, were, you were right. We got to do the elevator stuff now. I thought so. Owie! All right. As long as we hit, we kill. Nice, nice, nice. If I'm not mistaken, like every, like you battle the same team in every second trainer. I don't think they all have different teams. Oh no, wait. Eventually they do because you have a double battle with a Kufant. I think they're all double battles, aren't they? I don't know. Right now I, I just either. did. I did one. When you first your first battle at Chairman Rose's Tower, at the Rose Tower is just a one-off. But Hop is with you, so. Oh, yeah, so you are. I think you do try the tower with Hop the whole time, don't you? Yeah. You okay, nice. That's good, them. at least. I don't know uh, if that's good or not. I don't know if I want that. I mean, I don't like double battles personally, but I mean, if Hop's there doing his thing, I guess, you know, as long as he's doing what he needs to do. Yeah, but like most of the time he doesn't. No, most of the time he doesn't. Also, these guys are like total clones. Like, like I think of uh, like Star Wars, like the clones, how they're all like the exact same. Yeah. Like that's how it is for these. 
Speaking of, have you watched Obi Wan yet? Or like, do you watch Star Wars? Have we talked about this before? I get yeah, so I do. Okay. I've seen every Star Wars movie. All right. Um, all right. Rogue One, I didn't like it first in theaters. I fell asleep during it, but I was also really tired. Um, I haven't watched the spinoffs yet. I still need to watch those. Well, there's only Rogue One. Um, but the thing is, I have only seen a couple episodes of season one of Mandalorian. I have not watched Obi Wan. Um, I have not watched Book of Boba Fett. I'm behind in the Disney Plus series, like heavily. I do want to. They've start been releasing them. so many. They've been releasing so many series, like between Marvel and Star Wars and stuff lately, that it's yeah. so hard to keep up, though, dude. I get it. I haven't seen Moon Knight either, and I'm a huge MCU fan. Ooh, Moon Knight is phenomenal, dude. Like you are gonna love that one. I was blown away by how much I got like in like sucked into that. Yeah, and I also haven't started watching Miss Marvel yet. Um, I do want to watch Moon Knight it's before. It's okay. I want to watch Moon Knight before everything else. Um, yeah. but I do want to. I do want to watch everything by the end of it. Yeah, it's and definitely worth wanna, watching all of it. And I want to watch the um, Star Wars stuff too. Yeah, all the Star Wars stuff is really good. Like the season two of Mandalorian was really good. Uh, Book of Boba Fett was really good. Obi Wan has been really good so far. I'm only on. Uh, episode five out of six. So I guess I have two more episodes, but like, yeah, it's been really, really good so far. But I do know like a lot about the spoilers and stuff because I didn't really hide away from those. Like I know Baby Yoda leaves. I know Baby Yoda comes back, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah. I know uh, young Luke is the one that takes Baby Yoda. So, yeah, that blew my mind. Like, spoiler alerts, obviously, for those who haven't seen it. It's been out for, like, at least, like, a year or two, though. It's been out for, um, like, a... It's been out... Like, season one of Mandalorian's been out for two years. If you guys didn't know that, then, like, yeah, spoiler alert, but at the same time, if you really didn't want to be spoiled, you would have either seen it on online or something. Yeah, but, like, that to me is just insane to think about, like... Like, I'm. it's so crazy that, like, technology has come that far that, like, we can see GI and like people to actually do full cast roles in movies and stuff that are like dead or older or things like that like to me it's just mind-boggling to be fair um my personal opinion star wars mandalorian they did a really poor job with young luke's cgi um i can't remember how it was i I do know in season two, yeah, I will say it's pretty, like, it almost does kind of feel like they just kind of took pieces of it and just kind of threw him there. Oh, is he kind of like um, a bigger character in season two? He exists in season two. Okay. Which is really interesting to me. Like I said, it's just it's crazy to see, like, technology the way it's come. Hmm. Interesting. I didn't yeah, know he played a role. Obviously, but. Yeah, I didn't I didn't know about that though. I didn't know he was like a character in season two. Um like I know at the end of season one he's the one that takes Baby Yoda away, right? Yeah, yeah. Like he's not he's not a huge character in it, but like he definitely like at least has enough of a role that he exists. Because it's very obvious, like Well, I mean I guess it's not super obvious, but like that there's you know, yeah. stuff like you're you know, you're wondering what's going on with like Grogu and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, but yeah, it's it's really good. I enjoyed it. I'm actually pretty happy with how they, they've done the new Star Wars series. I feel like they've been done really, really well, and it's made me happy to see, because like, I'm a huge longtime Star Wars fan, and so like, the last trilogy just didn't really hit it off for me. Um, I mean, like, part, part, what, 7, 8, and 9, so like, 7 was, 7 was alright. 8, I was so lost, it just did not make any sense. I was so confused, and I just could not keep up with it. The story um, got worse and worse as it went on. Yeah, episode nine, it just seemed like they were going for so much like fan. Uh, what's what's the word I'm looking for? Um, like uh, um, like fan love kind of thing, like where they're just constantly giving you like everything that you want. Yeah, they kept going with the fan theories. They literally yeah, like, they just steered kept in, going, and with it was it. just a little weird. Like you still don't really understand Ray and Kylo's relationship. Why there even is a connection there whatsoever. Um, I mean, they point it out almost as if there's some kind of a connection, like they're related. Related. But then they're just like, I love you. Then, <laughs> yeah, and then it's like <laughs> lust base. Um, yeah. And it was just weird. And yeah, it was just weird. 
Um, yeah, that's kind of how I feel. Like, it just, it was good. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, the ninth movie was hype as frick. But I just felt like there was so much, like, intentional hype that you were just kind of like, all right, like... I just felt like, um, like, there was no need to bring Palpatine back. Yeah, like, that was one of those things, ah, yeah, I survived by the power of the dark side, yeah. Also, like, like okay. They, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, they just kind of threw him in there, right? Like, he wasn't, yeah. he wasn't a part of seven, he wasn't a part of eight, and then all of a sudden, oh, Palpatine's been the big bad. Yep, he's been the guy the whole time, and you just had no idea about it, like, okay. They were kind of like, like, they got to nine, and they were like, shit, we're turning Kylo good, but we forgot to bring in a different villain. Yeah, it's they had like no way. And so they were like, okay, like we if we want to make Kylo good, we have to make somebody else bad. And it's like, that's how they ended up doing it. Which, like, like I said, don't get me wrong, like, it was hype. But I, I just feel like they tried way too hard with it. I still kind of like the idea, um, like the fan theory that, well, and it kind of showed it was going in that direction. And I think this was their initial plan. They're like, oh, it's too obvious, so let's, let's switch it. Which was Kylo yeah. moves to the good side. And Ray moves to the dark side. I considered that being a possibility the whole time. That like there would just be some crazy shift, and like she would do something that would be bad. But like the only way they could do that, they would almost have to it, like continue it. Yeah, you'd have to continue it. It's almost impossible to try and pack that all into like a two, three hour movie, and yeah. then still be able to leave them with like a conclusion that we're happy with because you're ending the trilogy right there. So, like, yeah. regardless of how you end it, if you end it with, like, a possibility for more, or you just end it with the, like, hey, this could or could not be it, like, there has to be some intentionality behind it. And I just yeah. feel like it would have taken way too much setup to yeah. try and, like, flip both of them. No, definitely. Because even flipping, like, granted, he kind of seemed conflicted from the start, so, like, it seemed like it made sense with him. For her, she just seemed like she was balancing the line of neutral, which is kind of what she was there to do. Yeah. Which was the whole thing with, like, at the end with, like, the yellow lightsaber. Also, that's why I'm kind of pumped for the next <clears throat> Star Wars trilogy. I'm kind of hoping they give it a new name, though. I'm hoping they don't give it episodes 9, 10, 11, uh, sorry, 10, 11, 12, because it's going to be a different story now. It's already been confirmed that the next trilogy is completely different, and it's, um... Uh, Takita or Taka Takawiti. I'm I'm butchering his name. It's the guy from. It's the guy that uh, is directing um, all the Thor movies, like the two oh, Thor okay. movies. Okay, see, I had, I have not heard anything of a new trilogy, so I'm honestly a little bit in the dark here. Oh yeah, maybe yeah. I'm not as big of a fan as I thought. Um, well, I just I I follow a lot. Like, it's not there hasn't been like a teaser trailer announced or anything. Like, there's none of that stuff. It's just, I follow, like, a lot of the pages that talk about, like, comic books and stuff like that. Um, yeah, that's fair. And, like, it has been confirmed by Disney. It has been confirmed by Disney that there will be another complete trilogy. Um, I wasn't then, sure if they were going to. And they announced that it was going to be uh, Takawiti, or I can't remember his name. But y'all know who he is. He did Thor 3 and Thor 4. He plays Korg in it, by the way. He voices Korg. Um, is he going to be in it, or is he just the one that's directing it? I would assume he's going to be in it as well, because um, he he's a director and a producer that likes to be a part of it, too. He likes to direct yeah. and produce and also be in it. Uh, Wait, is Korg... He was in... Uh, Korg was and he Thor. In... Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, I'm trying to remember. Was he in anything else? I'm sure he no, has, but I don't know. I don't know his uh, filmography. Yeah, but, like, no, I know you're Thor, talking about he now. Him. He voices Korg and Thor. Um, but I like Korg. He's going to be directing and producing the entire new trilogy, and he's announced the trilogy will focus on a completely brand new story with completely brand new characters. But it has See, not. That's just interesting. Yeah, but it hasn't been confirmed yet if it's going to be. Um, a 10, 11, 12. I don't think so because from my understanding of it, it has like literally nothing. Like we're going to see a new evil team. It's not going to be the Dark Order. Is that what they're called? The Dark Order? 
Yeah, and I'm curious where I, it's going to take place and, like, what part of, like, the storyline and stuff like that. Because that's all really, like, really game changer, honestly. Yeah. Because that's going to be something completely different that, like, like, we don't really have, I guess, at this point, like, any expectations or anything we can kind of, you know, nope, think nothing. of what that will be like. Nothing at all. Nothing Like, at I have all. no idea, like, like where's it going to take place? Like, it's a... It's gonna be in the universe, I'm assuming. So I'm, it's it's gotta at some point take place in that. Like, but what point in time does it take place? Yeah, for sure. Exactly, exactly. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be really interesting, and I'm really pumped to see it. I'm really pumped to see like exactly what they will do with all of it. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited for it though. Also, I love the thought of like Stunfisk, just like straight up like. Like zooping up in the air, like yeah. Like I can't. This thing just bounced on me, and I'm just like, I could not imagine this thing just bouncing into the air like it just did. Where you at right now? Because I'm battling Oleana. I'm on her oh, second last Pokemon. Oh wow! Thanks, buddy. Are this you is at like the another Tower gym? Yet? This is literally like another gym. Yeah, I'm at the Rose Tower. I'm I'm on the last trainer before. Oh, I just lost something. What did you lose? <clears throat> I lost my um. I lost my Torkoal. No, you did it. That's big, honestly. Yo, That's I love how we're at the great. point in the game right now where like we lose great. a mon and it's just like, something. oh no, I lost a mon. <laughs> oh, sheesh, dude, that sucks. I am sorry to hear that, bro. You there? Are you dying slowly? Um, Killing me softly with his bow. Killing me softly. Just not. Alright, drop back to victory, right. Hop. I'm just straight up not having a good time. Yeah, but you're in the Rose Tower, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm at the. I just finished the last fight. So I'm about to go up against. Uh, what is her name? Asalina? Alina? Olina? Oliana. Oliana. Oleana. Arraya! Yo, she's psycho. Literal psycho, bitty. Oh, psycho's good in bed. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess it's true. That's true. I can't argue with that one, I guess. Alright, does he heal us before? And he's healed us before every battle. Does he heal us here? Oh, we know we have time to heal. We can heal ourselves. Alright, we do get healed. Um, uh, who does she start off with? So I'm gonna check this fight really quick. Um, uh, Frost Lost. Holy on a fight. She's got a Frostlass, a Salazzle, G Max, Carboder. Uh, Is it G Max? Yep. Sheesh. And they're level 50s. Uh, Frostlass. Okay, I just want to go out and say so. Like, I don't know if you can actually tell because I have to go and do like my autofocus and stuff. So I'll, I'll take the time to do this because it's worth it. If I can get my auto, my, I, I have manual focus set. I don't have my auto focus on. So let's see if we can actually focus in on this. So I can show you guys here. Does that look like a frost last to you? Does that look like a frost last to you? Because that's not a frost last. Did she not lead with look a frost last? Well, no, it is. But like, it's a, uh, what's it? Dusk, um, what's the final stage? Dusclops. Dustnor? Is that its final stage, Dustnor? So the icon on the site that I'm looking at, like, is a Dustnor instead. But it says Frostlass, but it's totally not a Frostlass. Are Blast. Sword and Shield different? No, also, no, 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 no. Pokemon. What did you lose now, Salty? Calm down. <laughs> I didn't think Garboder would have a rock type move. Uh, that's why I'm looking up her set right now, because I'm not even playing around, dude. I'm not even trying to lose this fight. I'm trying to sweep through at this point, guys. I just I'm sorry if it, like... I mean, I lost the Pokemon already in the last episode, so you can't even tell me that I'm playing an easy game. I just lost, um... I just lost, uh... My, uh... I just lost two of my fire types. 
Yeah, she has a frost last. I don't know what you're talking about. No, she does. I'm saying that the icon. Also, sorry if my thing's like out of autofocus now. I'm trying to keep it as focused as possible. Um, but no, she she does. But in you'll see in whenever you're editing the episode. But it the picture okay. on the site that I was using on Bulbapedia, I think. Um, or it might have been a different site, but it's. It's a dust noir. It's not, a, but it says frost last. Like it says frost last, but the icon is a dust noir. Okay. <laughs> um, also, by the way, the Sorry. other Pokemon I lost was Scent of Scorch. I, I figured once you said another fire type, that sucks though, dude. That's two really good types for your team. All right, so we yeah. one shot that yeah, thing. Yeah, they are. My load it comes um, in. Also, uh, we don't really have much of an answer for this. Oh wait, we do have an answer. What am I saying? I'm a pal peg. Uh, really, there we go. I really wanted set to scores for the bed fight. Ooh, yeah, that's true. Cause that's a that's a uh, bug type. But actually, yeah, would have helped you a fire. lot. A dude, lot. I'm sorry, a lot. man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to see that, dude. Are right, we gonna sleepy powder here? Cause we've had some luck with sleepy powder. All right, cool. It does work for us. Um, okay, so this is the, cool, so now I can see your team, and I can actually see what I need to see here. Uh, so she's gonna go into Salazzle next, so there's no shot, or no chance even, like, trying to set up on this thing. Uh, let's just take this out, and then get our booty out of here. Are you still in the fight with her? I just beat her. Well, that's good, at least. At least you only lost two Mon, right? Have you started your fight with her? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm on the Salazzle now. Okay. Uh, ooh, this thing's got D-Pulse. Uh, what do I use to go up against this thing? Um, now I'm listening to Rose talk about, like, why what he wants is actually good. I'm going to destroy the entire world. Trust me, I'm a good guy. Uh, who do that's, I go out to here? Because I need to think who I G Max. That's disappointing too. Because all I wanted, all I needed was one second to switch. Because like you get to the top floor and they kind of throw you into the battle right away. I didn't. I didn't know I was going into the only Ana fight. I wanted to add my ground type back to my team. If I had that thing, if I just had one of my ground types. I would have been perfectly fine. I know. Like, that's the thing. Like, losing certain mons is really starting to bite me in the butt here because I'm like, I need this type. I need this type, and I don't have it. Oh, man. So I'm hoping that we're good here. We're going to get the heckles out of here. Uh, we're going to switch you... into you. Oh. No, I'm still on the fight. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to take down her Salazzo and her Garbodor are kind of a threat to my team. So, we're going to try and do this. Uh, I think I Dynamax on Salazzle because I think I one-shot. And if I don't one-shot, then I'm in really bad shape. Um, I think we do it, though. I might be making, I might be misplaying here slightly, but let's hope not. All righty, Olena. Oh, Oleana. Okay. Do I battle? The amount of times I have Dynamaxed this thing, like, I, I did not think I would be putting it back on the team, but it's just one of those things where it's just like, I don't have very great mons. Or, like, that's the hard part with a cage lock is you, you're not able to use TMs, and a lot of mons just need TMs to be, like, super viable. Yeah. All right, cool. We yeah, one-shot the Salazzle. That's nice. Yeah, like, like some of them are just all, all but borderline useless. All right, cool. So let's see if we can do the same thing to Garbodor. But I think this is our, wait, she still has Serena. I fricked up. I just messed up bad. Why? If we don't one-shot this thing, I messed up. Okay, All right, we dude. do one-shot this thing. No, I got you. I, I got you. I could just, I could probably solo. I thought she already. Me. I thought she already sent out all of her mons, and I was on her last mon, so I Dynamax, but it wasn't the last mon. Ooh, are you good? Uh, I think so. Question is, do we do this for this? 
It's like twice as much. I feel like we have to. <laughs> um, yeah, so now I'm on our Garbodor, so I'm just learning some really good moves. This move is literal hot trash. Like, What's I'm that? sorry, but no move with that power should have that low of accuracy. Talking about Inferno. Mm. It's just not it's not a move, man. It's just not worth. No, Inferno, no. All right. No. So one I don't think we one shot here, which kind of sucks. I was hoping to have two shots on this thing, but I'm only going to get to one shot. One of my Pokemon literally. And Garbodor is That's before it died. And it's got a rock move, so I might actually be in a bad place here. I don't know what kind of place I'm in right now. I don't. I just. You don't got some replacements? Know. Yeah, but like. I also just. I didn't even think about Nessa. Like, I can get through her. How easily, though? And is it. Am I gonna have to risk somebody? Um, I'm having to take a risk right now. Alright, Sandstorm does not kill. I need to outspeed or I lose another Mon. Because he's going to use a Rock-type move, so I don't think I can really switch into anything. I can't switch into you. I can't switch into you. Uh, you're poisoned, so that's too much of a risk. I can't switch into you. I can't switch into you. So, yeah. Uh, we either outspeed or we, or we die. Nice, nice. And we outspeed, mm. so we don't die. <laughs> All right, cool. So I beat the Oliana uh, fight. All right. Well, you just got a bunch of dialogue there that they saw on my screen. So we're going to wrap this one yeah. up, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. We're going to be back tomorrow over on Roki's channel with... That's me. I don't know. I think we're going to be doing at least the Bede fight. We're probably going to be doing the Bede fight, the Nessa fight, and the Bay slash Alistair fight all on Roki's episode tomorrow. So, definitely, definitely, now's the time to be subscribed to both of us because it's all coming to an end. Let us know down in the comments oh, one final time. Well, actually, probably not the final time. I'm probably asked on the last episode too. But who do you think's yeah. going to win? We've got one final cage match. It's literally all tied. Hashtag it comes down Roki. to this cage match. Hashtag Team Roki. Roki, any final words? Hashtag Team Roki. Follow us on Twitter. And follow us on Twitter as well, and on Twitch, uh, not Twitch, TikTok, sorry. But yeah. TikTok, yeah, that too. Yeah, exactly. But that's going to be for this one, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy, and as always, stay salty. Stay salty.